I'm Boris Johnson's speech advisor, okay? I basically guide him through his speeches. During this COVID-19 crap, I've got to make sure that he always stays on track. For most presidents, this job is a breeze. I had to cover this, cover that, and that topic, and don't laugh. I kind of feel bad for Mike. It's Donald Trump's supervisor. Kill me. Okay, so a while ago, I actually recorded this, uh, this speech, if you will, okay? Anyways, enjoy. Okay, make sure you talk about the party as a whole. We need them to respect you. Do not get distracted this time, okay? We're a reality TV show. No, 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 don't, don't. Do not talk about reality TV shows. Talk about the new policies. People need to know these. They're important. Then the whole lot of us, I'm afraid, would have been voted out of the jungle by now. I'm surprised you ever even voted as Prime Minister. Anyways, let's get back on track, okay? You need to talk about your new policy. At least. People actually clapped for that. Wait, hang on. They're still clapping. But at least... Almost done. You need as much praise as you can. Go! We'd have had the consolation of watching the speaker being forced to eat a kangaroo testicle. Kangaroo testicles? What on earth? We'll be sending missions to the heavens. Uh, geostationary satellites, uh, which will be... Uh, by the way, uh, infrastructure in space will be of huge value to this country. Good. Carry on. You're going to get this country and this speech back on track. No more distractions. Uh, and they said that wind turbines... Good. Address the situation of solar panels and solar power. Renewable energy is the future. People will be excited to know about this. An energy source that doesn't cause air pollution. Uh, and they said that wind turbines would never pull the skin off a rice pudding. Remember that? <laughs> oh, Boris. You get your snacks after your big important meetings with the rest of the nation. Come on. Uh, exposed in the past. I'm a bit of a bus nut. Well, I mean, you have worked with half of the kids and took a guy down in public before, and you did also stand up to me against me, which uh, you might respect personally, but carry on. I confess that I like to make and to paint slightly inexact, very inexact, uh, models of buses with happy passengers inside. I'm actually more interested in the passengers than the buses, but never mind. So let's get on with sensible, moderate, one nation. I said move on. You're getting off topic again now. So let's get on with sensible, moderate, one nation, but tax-cutting conservative government. Okay, good. End your speech there and you're done. You don't need to talk about anything else. That's good enough for now, okay? And figuratively, figuratively, if not literally, let us send Jeremy Corbyn, Corbyn into orbit where he belongs. Okay, I'll give you that one. That, that one was pretty funny. Well going, but you need to stop there, okay? Good. Yeah, as you can see, my job gets hard sometimes, but damn is it worth it, right? Anyway guys, that's it for now. I'll catch you later. Stay tuned for another tra of my transcript.